Welcome back to Andrew Jean Cleaning. Today I'm going to show you how to easily clean and lubricate your sliding glass patio door. This also applies to windows as well so you can make them last longer and stronger. These puppies are expensive. I'm also going to show you a trick here at the end of how to lubricate this again so that it will last longer and stronger. Now my friend, I know most of you are not going to have this, this Bissell Steam Shot. This is absolutely wonderful. You do not use any chemicals for this right here. I know most of you are not gonna have this, but if you do have it, I highly recommend it. It's gonna make your job so much easier. I'm gonna link a video in the description box below in which I show you how to use this puppy right here. But since most of you probably don't have it, let's dive into things that you already have around your house to clean this and lubricate the tract. This is gonna be a super easy three-step process for you. You can probably hear my central air here, so don't mind that. Step one, we're gonna clean out any debris on both sides, do you see right in here? This is gonna feel amazing, this transformation. We need to clear this out because it impacts how well this door slides. Same with your window tracks. You're also gonna to wanna to clean this track as well. A couple tricks that I have for you. Get yourself a vacuum cleaner. If a hose, this one is very nice. It has the hose attached to it. If you do not have an attachment to your vacuum cleaner, what you can do is just take an old toilet paper roll. You can even cut it in half and you can stick it to the end of your vacuum and shape it however you need to. I know this is getting a little bit uh, rustic, but you, it gets the job done. Second thing I have here in my bag of tricks, you're gonna get yourself a screwdriver or a butter knife. A butter knife is not gonna work as well. Sometimes you need to get up under here and you need to see if there's any debris stuck inside of the track right here. You can also go along the sides right here if you have pets. I know a lot of times a lot of pet hair can get stuck up in here. You just wanna make sure that this is clear of anything. And again, a little flathead screwdriver works amazing. Second thing, if you don't have a vacuum cleaner, you could use a broom. It's not gonna work as well as a vacuum, but I wanna give you a ton of options. Or just an old cleaning toothbrush where you can get in here and try to get out as much debris as possible. Yes, look at that right there. Holy Toledo! Since I have a vacuum with an attachment, I'm gonna go ahead and suck everything up. I was able to get this side of the track. However, my attachment, you'll see right here, is too thick to get down in there. So we got my good old toilet paper roll. I'm gonna stick this in, use it right here, and I'm gonna get the rest of this. At this point, I've gotten as much up with the vacuum as I can. I will say when you use this method right here, you're gonna to have to kind of keep it open because it's really literally gonna suck it tight in because it works so well. So you're gonna to need to keep a hold on it right about that if you are using to get in those tiny little cracks. Step two, this is probably my favorite and most satisfying part right here. You can see, hopefully, yep, still there's some debris right in here that can make some sticking happen. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take some dish soap by just like Dawn, and this is an excellent degreaser. So that's what you want. You wanna help break down anything in and along right here. I also took some warm water. No specific amount that you need to use, just eyeball it, put it in a bucket of warm water, get yourself a cleaning toothbrush, and then I also like to use a microfiber towel to help wipe off any excess. You're gonna do it on both sides, both here and right here. Let's just see, right in here. It's really hard to find a tool that will actually fit along and look at that. See, this is what makes your doors stick, all of this buildup right here. I try to do this three times a year between the changing of seasons and it will just make everything look nicer as well when you clean this up and it will make it more functional. You can see my water is already starting to turn brown and then I just take my microfiber towel, bunch it up and get down in there. Now what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna do this a couple times because when you move your door back, it's probably gonna pick up some more stuff that's stuck up underneath here. So do it as many times as you need to so that when you are sliding the door back and forth, you're not noticing any more excess dirt coming along with it. Look at that. The nice thing about this toothbrush right here is I can actually get it underneath right here all along the side. See that? Yes. Now that we have sucked up, cleaned up, it's time to lubricate our tract right here. Now you can buy special lubricants, but why do that when you have things probably in your house laying around that are gonna do the jab? Most of the lubricants contain silicone. My friend, 
Good old cooking spray contains silicone here on the back. Also, WD-40 is excellent. I have entire videos dedicated to WD-40 hacks, unusual clever things around your house, and cooking spray. So if you're interested, I will leave these in the description box below those video links. Today, I'm gonna use some cooking spray. Good old cooking spray. And what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna spray it along, right along here. If there's any excess that I want up, I'm just gonna wipe it up with my microfiber towel right here. You're gonna spray it on this side. Just like that. And then you're also gonna spray it on this side right here. This will help lubricate everything, make it run longer and stronger, and hopefully you do not have to replace your sliding glass patio doors or windows very often. Let's go ahead, give it a quick test. Woo-wee! Slipping and a sliding. I'm just going in with my microfiber towel right here just to get a little bit of the excess off. I prefer the cooking spray to WD-40 because it doesn't have that smell. You know what I'm talking about right here. Now, if you have some really stuck on stuff on the bottom of your doors or your windows, make sure that you let that Dawn dish soap or whatever dish soap that you wanna use sit on there a bit longer and then go in with your microfiber towel and your cleaning toothbrush. You certainly can use vinegar to do this. I've also seen it with baking soda and hydrogen peroxide, but above all, you just wanna suck it up clean it up and then lubricate it. All right, my friend, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Check out these two videos right here. Sign up for the weekly newsletter, which is all things cleaning and tips, tricks, and hacks. And I will see you, my friend, in the next one.